Modern-day sterilizers are all subject to various types of testing at periodic intervals of their life cycle. As the W&H Lisa sterilizer is classed as a type B vacuum, the correct daily testing, as described in your National Decontamination Guidance, is a steam penetration test. There are currently two types of steam penetration tests available. W&H recommends the Helix Process Challenge device, as this test is the most relevant to dentistry. Helix tests are required as part of the manufacturer's and national decontamination guidance. A positive test result is required to prove that sufficient air removal has been carried out during the sterilization cycle. A Helix test cycle should be the first cycle performed each day prior to the sterilizer being used in normal day-to-day -day operation. Start by removing the closed capsule of the test device. Fold the indicator strip in half so that the chemical indicator faces inwards. Insert the folded test indicator strip back into the capsule and reassemble the test device. Seal the device in a sterilization pouch and place it in the center of the sterilizer. During a helix test cycle, the only load within the sterilizer must be the helix test device itself. No medical instrument should be in the chamber at the same time. Close the door and select the B&D slash Helix Test Cycle from the Test Cycle submenu. Once the test cycle is complete, special care should be taken when removing the Helix Test Device from the sterilizer, as it will be very hot. Allow the test device to cool. The indicator strip can now be removed from the test device. A positive test result will require the indicator strip to fully change color without any color variation. All test results should be documented in a logbook specific to the sterilizer, with the test indicator strip stored in accordance with national guidance. After completing a positive test, your Lisa sterilizer is ready for normal operation. Further information on product maintenance, compliance testing and current national decontamination guidance can be found on this website. For all other inquiries, please click Contact Us or email us at the following address.